Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Affinity Designer tutorial. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be um, customizing your own emoji, however you want how to do that, and do that right after this. <laughs> Okay, so right now I have an emoji open. I got actually two open. Um, got that one, and everybody knows about that one. Um, I think I'm going to be going with uh, this one today because just the color looks a lot better. Um, so what we're going to be doing is um, copying this and then changing it up a bit, um, so it'll be like the look like emoji, but it will be changed to per be personalized. And also, I got these um, online. I can send you the download. Uh, the download link will be in the description for this file with both of these images in it. Um, if you want to copy off of off of this, so go ahead and download that right now, and we can get started. So first things first, I'm gonna draw a circle. Create a circle by clicking on the circle tool. Pulling out, holding down Command and Shift on a Mac. Probably Control Shift on a Windows. So, um, you just want to try to make it the same size, obviously. Um, I'm going to turn down the opacity on this white so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Okay, so we have a little bit of extra space here, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter if you're that much off. Um, and so now we got this and it's really easy to get grab the color just need to go over here and grab any color we want but as you can tell here um, these emojis are all different colors like it's not just one color some emojis are just one color more flat design this is more 3d ish so if you want to go with that style we can do that and that's what I'm going to be doing today and just to help maybe I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna turn this uh, emoji a little bit more straight, even though it's supposed to be sideways, so that when it comes to customizing it, then it'll be easier if you want to make it straight up and down. I'm going to change the color for these lips. Right now, it's white. I'm gonna change it to this color right on the outside. All right on the very right here at the top and so I did that and I will now click this and it will make it that color now I can turn up the fill turn up the opacity and I've got a nice yellow circle like that so that is not the same color as that obviously but I need to add a gradient so next I'm going to go down here and select this color down here the very bottom the very darkest color I found on the emoji um, and I'll go to gradient and I have a tutorial about gradients you can go ahead and click right up here if you want to watch that but um, gradients are very simple so you probably don't need to unless you're really a beginner so um, what we're going to do is click and drag to create the gradient for this circle and this circle is actually um, you have to actually have to click on it before you just click and drag okay so next we are going to choose a different type of gradient and that we're going to choose um, elliptical so that we can make it more of a roundish looking object and I'm gonna go ahead and fix this up a bit and I'll be right back so right now actually I'm going to create a new artboard so that I don't have to keep turning off and off on and off this layer so to do that, click on the artboard tool, and then up here it'll 
have a button that says insert artboard just click here and hey, you have a you have an artboard right here and then click insert artboard again and boom you'll have another artboard right next to it I'm going to zoom out here and I'm going to pull open up this artboard one you can name them if you want I'm not going to do that for time but it could help I'm going to pull this over to artboard number two and to make sure it's in there you need open it and there it is it went automatically into to there if it doesn't you can just pull it up and stick it in there okay so we got that looks pretty good um, but as you can tell there's this nice white crisp um, highlight right at the top of his of this emoji's head and we don't have that over here so let's go ahead and make that so for that we're just gonna copy paste this one and hit command J because that will just copy it automatically and then um, you don't have to hit command C and command V and so to resize it drag it and hit the command button and um, the shift button so it'll maintain size and it will pull from the middle okay that looks about the right size we are going to change this to white right there and then after that we're going to turn we're going to grab the transparency tool and then pull it and so next we're going to work on the eyes and for this, um, you can copy these eyes if you want, or you can just be um, creative and come up with your own eyes. I'm going to go ahead and make my own eyes right now. Okay, so I created the um, eyes. I don't know how really good they look, but I'm um, just going to stick with them. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Now I'm going to make them the exact same type color and look, make them look a lot the same as these eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. To do that, you're going to um, bring your little color picker over here to the very middle of the eye place. Select that color and grab both eyes and make them that color. There we go. Now they're that color. Now we need to make them uh, have an inside shadow like it does here. So what we're going to do here is um, grab the effects. Make sure both are selected. And we can do inner shadow. And we're going to pull up the radius a bit. and make it, the opacity a little bit darker we want to make it pretty intense like this one is so gonna make actually a lot more radius in here right up here that looks pretty good maybe a little bit more dark yeah that looks about perfect so I'm gonna exit all out of there so uh, it looks a little bit like it's um, just cut right through. This one looks a little bit more 3D. So I think the way that they did that was they went, and I'm pretty sure we are able to do that. Let me just check it out real quick. Um, see if we can do that with effects. I'm going to add these real quick and click on effects. So okay, it says look, it says bevel and emboss or slash emboss. And then click on that, see what happens. Okay, so um, radius. So basically, what that does is it makes the inside look like it's um, has a bevel. So I'm gonna see if I can change the profile. Okay. 
Okay, so I was able to do this a little bit, make it look a little bit more realistic, but it's still not quite as good as theirs, obviously. But it it was a it was a try. So I'm actually gonna move the move the eyes up a bit. Take the eyes, move them up a bit. To about there, even though on humans the eyes are about the middle. Move them up to about there. And I, then I'm gonna make a big mouth. And to do this, I'm gonna grab the uh, tool. It's called the crescent shape, uh, crescent tool. And drag it out. And it's actually um, going the wrong way, so I'm gonna flip it with the transform right up here and drag it out a little bit more, make it look a little bit more like a mouth. After you do that, I'm just going to click on this, go to styles, and um, go up here to the top menu and click add style from selection and what that will do is it will create its own style its very own style and then when I come and click on this I can just check that and I don't have to get on um, don't have to get on effects and change all the effects again so now it's exactly the same style as that and now it looks pretty 3D it's pretty neat how it did that and um, this is looking sort of funny, uh, the emoji is. So I'm going to work a little bit harder on it. Um, maybe create some teeth in here. So what I'm going to do for here is I'm going to copy this one just so I can subtract it from uh, from this. So I'm going to go ahead and make the teeth and I'll be right back. That looks pretty good. So, um, I just created this emoji. Um, I hope you guys were able to sort of follow along with me. And I actually feel like I didn't do too well, good of a job on this. But, you know, I tried. It's sort of hard to create emojis. Harder than I thought. Or harder than you might think. And uh, actually, this guy's eyes um, are sort of cross-eyed. So I'm going to call this guy cross-eyed emoji so that is m my cross-eyed emoji sorry this tutorial is a little bit long but if you liked it then if you made it all the way to the end good job and uh, give me a like for this video if you like it and go ahead and subscribe I put out um, a bunch of videos I have over 50 videos online about affinity designer so go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and if you have any questions, please comment in the area below. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you join me for next tutorial where I talk about my logo.